Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept, three-phase circuit. In this three-phase circuits, balanced star system. In this balanced star system, uh, phase voltage and line voltage. Uh, what is the differences is there? If it is the star system, phase current, line currents are equal. Now we go for the voltage. Phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3. These two equations, how it will get? Now I am explaining. Basically, in single phase circuits, in single phase circuits, the angle is the 360 degrees. Now we are discussing a, a three phase circuits. Three phase is nothing but the combination of three circuits. The combination of three circuits. 360, 360 degrees by 3. 3 ones, 3 twos. So means 120 degrees. Each phase have 120 degrees to each other. In single phase circuit, 360 degrees. In three phase circuits, each phase have 120 degrees each other. Phase to phase angle is the 120 degrees. Phase to phase angle is the 120 degrees. In three phase circuits, in three phase circuits, here I have star or delta. In three phase circuits means three individual circuits we are connected if you are star or if you are delta have only two types is there if it is the star or delta you connected in star or you connected in delta these star system or delta system is available in uh, source source side and as well as load side this star system source side is available load side is available this delta system, source side is available, load side is available. Source side means supply side. Source side means supply side. This star system and the delta systems, both systems is available in source side as well as load side. Based on your requirement, you can use which type of system, which star system if you require, we can use. Delta system if you require, we can use. As per your requirement, as per your, now we go for the a, a three phase balanced star system. This is the R phase. This is the Y phase. This is the R phase. This is the Y phase. This is the B phase. This is the neutral. This is the neutral. In this phase, if you go for the uh, DC circuits, resistance is available. Now we go for the AC circuits, impedance is available. This is the impedance. This is the impedance. This is the impedance. This is the one phase. This is the one phase. This is the one phase. This phase is called R phase. This phase is called Y phase. This phase is called B phase. In this R phase current, this is called current at R phase. This is called current at Y phase. This is called current at B phase. Means R phase current, Y phase current and B phase current. These are the, in this star system, three phases are the balanced. Three phases are the balanced. So, every phase impedance is same. Every phase Current is same. Now we go for the phase current. Now we go for the phase currents. Phase currents is equal to IR, IY, IB. All three phase currents are the equal. All three phase currents are the equal. This is the R line. This is the Y line. This is the B line. This is the R line, this is the Y line, this is the B line. This line current you represented at I1. This line current you represented it I2. This line current you represented in I3. This IR current is the phase current. IR, IY, IB, these are the phase currents. I1, I2, I3, these are the line currents. Line currents is equal to I1, I2, 
I3. These three line terms are also equal. Means I1, I2, I3 is equal. IR, IY, IB also equal. Why? Because this uh, this uh, star system is the balanced system. So impedance is same. Every phase impedance is same. Every phase current is same. Every line current also is same. Now we go for the phase current is equal to phase current is equal to line current means this is the phase current this is the line current here to here how much current is there same current is passing here to here also same current is is there so phase current is equal to line current now we get the phase current is equal to line current phase current is equal to line current in star system balanced star system phase current is equal to line current in star system in now we go for the voltage point of view here to here this is the phase voltage at r to m now here to phase here to here this is the phase voltage voltage r to m same here here also same here to here voltage at yn same here to here voltage is how much voltage at v to m this is this is the phase voltage this is the phase voltage line voltage is nothing but here to here this is the line voltage voltage at r to y this is the line to line voltage voltage between the phase is the rn voltage between the line is called ry phase voltage line voltage is not equal in star system phase voltage line voltage is not equal in star system now we go now how to calculate the relation what is the relation but voltage is same this phase voltage this phase voltage this phase voltage is same this line voltage this this line voltage this line voltage voltage at r to y voltage at y to b voltage at b to r is same line voltage is same phase voltage is same but phase voltage line voltage is not same phase voltage line voltage is not same now we go for the phase diagram this is called voltage at r to m voltage at r to m this is called voltage at y to m this is called voltage at b to m voltage at b to m voltage at b to m this is called a neutral this is called a neutral these are the phase voltages this voltage you can treat it as voltage at r this you can treat it as voltage at y this you can treat it voltage at y this is the phase voltage 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 sequence of r y b the phase sequence of r y b phase sequence of r y b voltage at r y is equal to voltage at r y is equal to voltage at r minus voltage at y voltage at y vector difference this is the vector difference but we need vector sum voltage at r is equal to minus of voltage at y this is the vector sum we required in vector sum voltage at r to y is equal to voltage at y minus voltage at y now we go for the phasor diagram this is the voltage at r plus voltage at y Vol minus voltage at y but here voltage at y is there minus 
वोल्टेज एट वाई जस्ट परफेक्ट जस्ट क्वाइट ऑपोजिट बट सेम मैग्नीट्यूड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वोल्टेज एट वाई माइनस वोल्टेज एट वाई दिस इज द माइनस वोल्टेज एट वाई Previously, every phase angle is the 120 degrees. This is also, this is also 120 degrees and 120 degrees. Now, here is the here is the 60 degrees. The angle between here to here is the 120 degrees. Here to is the 60. Here to is the 60 degrees. Here to is the 60 degrees. Now we take the parallel to this line. Now we take the parallel to the line line. Same again parallel to this line. Somewhere is intersected. Somewhere is intersected. That point is called voltage at R to Y or line voltage. Voltage at R Y or line voltage. You draw here to here. Now we'll treat it as this is the O. This is the A. This is the B. Perpendicular to from phase voltage. Perpendicular to each other from phase. Here is the 90 degrees. Here is the 90 degrees. Here angle is the 30 degrees. Here angle is the 30 degrees. This is the triangle. This is the triangle. This is the triangle. Now we treat it as this is the C. This is the C. From this triangle. From this triangle. Cos 30 is equal to. Cos 30 is equal to OC, OC by OA, OC by OA. Cos 30, angle is the cos theta, theta is not 30 degrees angle. Cos 30 is equal to OC by, cos 30 value is the root 3 by 2. OC, OB is the VL, OB here to here is the OB, that is called VL, but here to here off, means VL by 2. 1 VL by VL by 2 by OA. OA is called as phase voltage. OA is called as phase voltage. Voltage at phase. Voltage at phase. You can solve this. You can solve this equation. Phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3. Phase voltage is equal to Line voltage by root 3. Now we will get the two equations. Phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3. Second equation also we get means if it is the three phase system, balanced star system, balanced star system, phase current, line current is equal. Phase current, line current is equal. Now we go for the voltage. Phase voltage is equal to phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3. Phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.